Praise the mighty name of Yeshua. Get ready to preach out here, you know. Share the good news of the gospel. And sing some songs, you know. Some songs that uh, I ain't singing in a long time. And I ain't singing in a long time, so my voice is probably kind of crusty and rusty. But guess what? It's okay. I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it because I love the Lord Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the one who set me free. Hallelujah. And if I love the Lord, that means I love my neighbors. And all these people out here, see, everybody knows cars. That's my neighbor. See, the Lord let me know who my neighbor was. Everybody. Praise the mighty name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. You know the Lord's so good. He told me who my neighbor was. That's you. You know I love you all so much. I love y'all. You're my neighbor. The Lord said love your neighbor as yourself. Well I love you and I care about you. And Jesus Christ, listen, he gave his life for you and me because he loved us so much and he still loves us. Hell, ain't that something what the Lord Jesus Christ did because he loved you and me? He gave his life. He laid it all down. For you and me, that's the love of Christ. Hallelujah. And I'm out here tonight in the love of Christ. I come not because I'm something, because I know I'm nothing. But the Lord Jesus Christ is everything. See, he's my life. He gave me a new reason for living. And I'm thankful for that. You know, I'm a 60-year-old man, and I'm alone quite often. But, you know, in my heart, I'm not alone, because the Lord is faithful and true. And what he's done for me, my brother and sister, he can do for you. You see, you're not alone either. All you got to do is by faith, just call on the name of the Lord. Just reach down in your heart and say, Lord, hey, Lord Jesus, I need you. I can't make it, you know, through this life on my own. I see this place is, is as wicked and evil, Lord God. And Lord, I, I just, you know, I, I don't want to do the wrong things. I'm going to change my heart. I'm going to do right. See, my brothers and sisters, let me just say it to you like this. The Lord does not like uh, uh, all the formality and, and all the garbage we give him when we pray. With his father thou, all the No, the Lord just wants you to be real. He wants you to be real with him. He wants you to uh, talk to him about the deep things in your heart that are hurting you and bothering you. See, he wants you to get real with him so, so he can set you free. See, Jesus Christ is the mighty deliverer. He can do mighty things in your heart, in your life, if you just trust him with your heart. And it's, it's not easy. It's, it's, it's called a walk, and you do it each day, more and more. You, you, you take the time out more and more, and you spend time with the Lord. And you learn how to trust him with your heart and life. Because he is the only one that can lead and guide you to heaven anyway. He's a good shepherd. I'm not the good shepherd. I love you and I care about you. And I lay down my life for you. But I can't save you. And there's many pastors in all these churches. And listen, some care about you and some don't. But they can't save you either. See, we're not saved by way of religion. It's all about knowing Jesus. It's all about knowing the one that gave his life for us. Personally. See, we have to know Jesus Christ for ourselves. Not through another man. Your pastor or your priest can't know Jesus for you. You got to know Jesus for yourself. Because on judgment day, guess what? You're going to be looking at Jesus Christ face to face. And my dear brothers and sisters, we all have to know him. See, because if we don't know him, we won't make it to heaven. So please just take the time out each day and spend time with him. Just spend time alone with Jesus. Just you know, let's crawl up in your bed and just start talking to him. It's like you're talking to your friend, because he is your friend. But he's more than that. He's your savior too. You see, if we turn away from sin and we turn to Jesus, the Lord gives us a brand new life. The Lord wants us to be born again through the Spirit. He wants us to realize that this world has nothing really to offer us that's eternal. See, we might have a brand new house and all these cars and money in the bank. And we, we might have good health and all that stuff, but one day, one day, some of those things are going to fail. One day, our life is going to end. And then we step into a place we've never been before, eternity. And that's why, I see, the Lord loved us so much. Look what God did. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That's Jesus Christ. 
And what did he do? He came down here to live this sinless life. He was perfect in every way. And believe me, the Lord Jesus Christ went through so much suffering. It wasn't just on the cross. It was through his whole life. He was rejected his whole life. You see, because he was the light that came into the world. And the world couldn't comprehend that light. See, it hated it. It was reviled by the light of Christ. See, and part of that light, of course, was the love of Christ. See, the world had never seen a love that great before. And the world couldn't handle that love. See, so as soon as Satan could, you know, he had Christ Jesus put to death. See, but Satan didn't understand that Jesus Christ was going to raise up on the third day. See, with all power and dominion in his hands. See, Satan did not understand that that was his death blow. When Jesus Christ raised up from the dead from because he loved you and me. He raised up from the dead for you and me because he wants to live inside of us and leading God us to heaven. And he knew that he was the only one that was going to be able to do it. He knew that he had the power in him to save you and me. He saw you and me from the cross. Oh yes he did, because he was God. See, when he was suffering he saw you and me. Because he was God. There's nothing he did not know. So, just think about it. 2,000 years ago, on the cross, he saw you and me. And guess what? He didn't say, you know, look, I'm not going through this. I, 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 I quit. I don't want to go through this pain and suffering. No more. He didn't say that. He said, you know something? I see all of my beautiful brothers and sisters, all those that, 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 that are going to be part of my heavenly family, and I'm going to give my life for them. But you know something? His love was so deep. He said, I'm going to even die for the ones that hate me too. See, I'm going to suffer for them too. Because, you know, through my suffering, maybe one of those might turn their hearts towards me too. Because there's nothing that the Lord loves more than a repentant heart. A heart that comes back to him like the prodigal son. See, he was lost, but hallelujah. See, he became found. See, because he found Jesus. Hallelujah. See, that's what we need. We need Jesus. We need to be found by Christ. We need Jesus Christ living inside of us today. Because he's our only hope. See, men are putting their traits and their faith and trust in politicians. You know, some of these politicians are like idols in the hearts of Christians, and it's wrong. And God hates idols. No matter what the man is, their flesh is like you and me. And we're not to worship them. We're not to worship man. We're to worship the true and living God. We have to be faithful to Jesus, just like he was faithful to us. In a relationship, would you like your husband or your wife or your children or your friends, your close friends to love you halfway, a, a, part, a, a part kind of love? Or would you want them to love you all the way? See, it's the same thing with the Lord Jesus Christ. He doesn't want you to love him partly. He wants you to love you. He wants you to love him fully. Just like he loves you fully. See, he wants a relationship with you and him to be so tight that nothing can ever break it. And guess what? If you trust him with your heart, he'll make sure nothing ever breaks it. Because he has the power to keep you. He has the power to save you. He has the power to deliver you. He has the power to set you free forever. That's what Jesus Christ does. And I'm about to sing a song here and I gotta go to another another place. The, the, the preach, but I would say, y'all, I love y'all and I care about you. I care about what you're going through in your life and in your heart. Please give it to Jesus. All your problems, your worries, your cares, give it to Jesus Christ. He loves you so much. He really does. He cares about you and he knows what you're going through. Humble yourself and say, Lord, help me. He will. Say, Lord, I want you to live inside my heart. Invite him in. He'll come in. He's faithful and true. He'll never let you down. Hallelujah. See, Jesus Christ is real and true. He really is. He's my best friend. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty name of Yeshua. Sing the song next time by the grace of God. All right.